some tips on shimming sad tail wings. There is some confusion, I think, uh, going on. By default, the fuselage, the mold itself has negative 1.5 degree downward angle, so the fuse basically points this way in relationship to the fuselage. If you buy shims from SEB itself, on the package it says negative 1, negative 0.5. So uh, what it means is if you buy the negative shim, it's basically gonna create even more incident angle. So it's gonna create more drag, but more uh, control and uh, less speed obviously. But if you want to loosen up and get more speed, you actually have to go the other way around. And I'm actually surprised why SAP does not sell positive shims. So what you can do is you, you can buy their negative shims. Uh, you cut a little bit on one side, uh, then flip it around. Basically, this was the original one. And now the, at the end, you have a thick part. And so once at the end you have the thick part, that creates positive angle. You can offset the negative 1.5 degree. For example, this one plus 1.5 degree. So if I put it in, uh, I'll completely make the stabilizer flat in relationship to fuselage. So zero drag. Also, uh, I'll lose some control, but I'll gain speed. And in terms of performance, uh, I've tried uh, doing plus 1.5, so it's flat. Uh, it's super loose, uh, definitely faster, but I think it's way too loose to actually enjoy it. And I'm not sure it's great for pumping because you need a little bit of uh, some kind of drag. So what works best, I find, it's uh, plus one degree that is installed right now. And so with plus one degree, it makes uh, the tail wind sit only negative 0.5. And at that angle, I, I find it's uh, the best of both worlds, basically. You get, you still have some control, uh, it's super loose, uh, it's way faster than without any shims. And yeah, I'm still playing around, but it takes, yeah, it takes time and it's all a personal preference. Once you start playing with shims, you also need to keep in mind that you need to uh, adjust your mass position. For example, for plus one degree, I had to shift my mass about half centimeter forward could go probably a whole centimeter but yeah, it's anywhere from 0 0.5 to 1 centimeter forward to offset because now your tail wing the, the more flatter it is the less it creates of lift basically because this one points down this one points up so this motion right so now you have less of this so you need to compensate it by by moving mass a little bit forward and so once you move it forward, it's, you kind of offset uh, the whole lift characteristics and control. Uh, SAB does not make positive shims. The, the reason that I think the reason they make negative shims, it's for bigger front wings and for the boards that have the tracks all the way at the back. And that way, when you put a negative shim, you increase uh, the angle of drag, basically you increase the drag, that will create way more lift and so you can move your, your mast way at the back. And so if your board doesn't have enough real estate on tracks to play around, then yeah, you have to end up with a negative shape. And the new Kraken fuse, I believe it has negative 2.3 degree, which is yeah even more than the current one. For the Kraken you would have to offset even more, not just uh, to get the same half degree negative. The original one would be this way. As you can see, the flat, uh, the flat part is towards the end, and the thick part goes towards the front wing. This is the original intent. And what you can do is basically you flip it around, you cut this part, and uh, you can leave it as is. But I just added some plumber's body. For, uh, otherwise, uh, you would have a gap if you don't put the white part. If you don't put the filler, you would have a little gap here, which is probably not so good for performance, but not sure how much it's going to affect. Yeah, it's easy to fix with a plumber's body and afterwards sandpaper. Here you have thin part and here you have thick part. So the thick part offsets the negative angle and makes it flatter. So this is a positive. 
the negative shims the A cell would be the original part, it would be installed like this, which makes the tail wing point downward even more. So that's the basic concept. This is a matter of experience, personal preference, and when you're learning, there's no point to play with any shims. Negative 1.5 works just fine. And once you progress, maybe like, I would say, at least a year, after a year, you can start playing with shims to find the sweet spot for your setup. Like I mentioned, plus one degree works well on uh, this setup, but I'm still playing and who knows what I'll end up with. These chips I showed, they're not actually from Seb, uh, these were 3D printed. I'll link the files for positive and negative shims, so you can uh, print if you have a printer or somebody with a printer. But the idea is the same. So this one was originally printed as negative, uh, so this part was the front. I cut it, then flip it, and in here, yeah, I was trying to add some plumber's body, but it didn't work. This one cracked, but I need to fix it. Basically, yeah, you would just need to fill this part to make it round. And so once you flip it, now it becomes positive shim. This part is thick. This is the end of the fuselage. And this part round, thick, and this brings the tail more straight in relationship to the fuselage.